Yeah, and Aaron, two, uh, really two chief concerns here. Uh, one, the sales tax revenues to local coffers and dozens of jobs now at stake. Once the preeminent toy seller, the company saddled with debt and bankruptcy really couldn't keep up with the big box stores and online competitors. Locally, there are stores in Gilroy, Santa Cruz and Salinas that are slated to close. In the Salinas store alone, that store has been one of the top 25 producers for sales tax revenue over the last two years. It, it worries me as a city councilwoman when your two main sources of income for the city are retail sales tax and property taxes. You want to ensure that people are shopping in their stores because that's what pays for cops and firefighters and libraries and parks and recreation. I just wish all the uh, people who are going to be uh, out of work uh, good luck and hope that they can find something uh, relative for them in the future. And despite the weak sales at Toys R Us stores worldwide, the uh, toy chain was a big revenue generator, as I mentioned, for the city and Northridge Mall in Salinas. The city's finance director, Matt Pressey, said it will be difficult to make that up, but the city will be actively engaging in efforts to fill this void. And then there's the dozens of jobs locally. No word yet from Toys R Us what they plan to do to help employees with the transition, but really, Dan Aaron, the end of an era here for yeah. uh, many people who walk through those Toys R Us stores, including me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> including you both know? of us, but, many times. Right. Yeah. And, and then there's the Babies R Us stores. The too. Babies R Us, I mean, you know, that's also a very big deal. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All so, right. Thanks right. very Thanks, much, Felix. Felix. So as for the Babies R Us, the company will also be closing or selling those stores here on the Central Coast. That's what we're being told. The company is currently floating a plan to keep 200 of its strongest stores open, but we. We don't know if any of those are here on the Central Coast.